Well, congratulations to baby number two. Thank you. Um, I'm so excited for you guys. It's so cool to see this, you know, all happening for you. Thank you. you. Um, how do you think fatherhood has changed you and expanding the family has changed the dynamic? I work harder to take more time off in my life now. I want to be able to be very present. Um, and even at home, I think the most biggest change is like a, a re, even small things that I could do. I, I deleted social media pretty much off my phone, and I'll re-download it if I want to post something <laughs> or to re-delete it. And I, I still use it, but I'm able to be like present at home and be present when I'm around my friends and family, most importantly. I really love that. And... Um, those small little things go a long way. And, and if I'm at home and doing Zooms, I try to do it during a window where it's just me time. And I'm, so it's, it's quite nice. And um, so it's changed me a lot. I think it's made me for, for the better. And ultimately, as a bandmate, um, you're a little bit more emotional with these songs that you're writing and the things you're going through, the stories you're telling and you want to share, and the relations that you have around you. Oh, that's really sweet. Please tell me you sing lullabies, and you're, you're doing that. My, lo my, yeah, my lullabies CD will come out soon. I love it. I just said CD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about your age, so I would say the same. <laughs> you and your brothers, I hear, are back in the studio making some new music. We are. What yeah, can you we, share? I can't share too much. I always feel, unfortunately, like I, I have the worst answers. I, I can share that I'm... It's taking time because it needs to. And I think we're in no rush. We're playing a lot of shows, and that's what's going on currently. So we just got back from Mexico. I never had the time to just go explore Mexico City. The fans there are so passionate, which is thrilling, but there's this element where like, you can't really go outside, and they'll follow you to every place you go. I think maybe because they're a little older and they've grown up with us, they're more excited to see us out doing things that make them proud of their city. So in Mexico City, I was just blown away by the food, the culture. I went to this incredible coffee shop that I went to every single day. And so um, it was one of my favorite trips. And we got more shows coming up. And um, we're playing Global Citizens here in, in Oh, New York. I'll be there. Be, oh, great. We'll see you there. That's exciting. Yeah. We're playing Global Citizen. And we're going to be doing some more Vegas shows as well. I love that. Busy year that's left. Very busy. What is it like for you guys making music now together? Obviously, you've grown so much, you know, in the industry, creating music. Now you guys are all expanding your families. You have wives. You have, you know, it's different. So what is the creation of the music like now? Where does your inspiration come from? We all have our own bigger lives now. Um, and we love to watch each other grow as people and have a bit more of an understanding of what they've gone through. You know, we don't throw around advice for each other because we are all so different. We all live in different parts of the U.S. It's, we also have different gigs on the side. And so bringing our different energies together to create music, it is beautiful, or share the stage even. Like how, how, do, we, how do we bring our best to, to, to the platform? And I feel like we've been able to really grow as individuals, which makes us stronger together. I had a life-changing eye surgery, Evo, and now I can see clearly than I ever had. I've used contacts and glasses since I was 12 or 13 years old, and that was my norm, waking up and stumbling to the dresser to find my glasses and being in a new hotel room all the time and not knowing where anything is, forgetting glasses and contacts constantly. Um, and it, it just has been so much easier, and I feel like it's, it's been amazing, so I'm thrilled. How bad were your eyes? Like, if I'm like this to my boyfriend and he doesn't have his eye, his stuff on, he can't see me. He's like, I can't see you. Oh, well, then he should get this surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I was nearsighted, so essentially I, I couldn't see things very far away. So like you just said with your boyfriend, you would be a little blurry for, my, for me. And if things were a little further, there'd be no way. Like that book in the corner, I could, I could never read that it says New York on it. I, it would be impossible. But right now I'm able to see that from the distance. And it's a little annoying to some of my friends because I like be like, do you know what that says? I do. Here, I'll read it for you. And they're like, really? Um, and I've shown them the video of the doctor the day after saying, yeah, you have 20-21 vision now. I'm like, what? I didn't even know that was a thing. So um, it's pretty crazy. So I couldn't see 
four or five rows back if I didn't have my glasses or contacts. And that I've been in that position many times on stage. So from on the work side to the personal front, when I'm working out or going for a swim, I'm not worried about my contacts dropping out or dry eye syndrome where I feel like I'm constantly trying to rehydrate my eyes, mm -hmm. which happens a lot when you wear contacts all day long. Mm -hmm. It was a game changer. 